when when Röntgen discovered X-rays, he wrote this text. But when he sent it out to his colleagues, he he used a picture with it, which was of his wife's hand, and all you could see were her bones and her ring. And these are actually um, sort of takeoffs on that. That picture came to symbolize X-rays. The hand was easy to X-ray because it's flat, um, so the rays passed through it pretty quickly. They didn't. They hadn't quite figured out how to focus them at that point, so they needed things that weren't very thick. It became actually fashionable to have your X-ray portrait taken of your hand. And this is uh, Tsar Nicholas II and his wife Alexandra, who summoned a doctor to the Winter Palace to have their portraits taken. And many of the people who made the pictures in, in the year following X-rays inventions were photographers, actually, because it was pretty easy to make uh, X-rays. By March of 1896, so three months after they're mm -hmm. made public, you could order a commercial X-ray kit. And X-rays are it's my particular favorite, just because I think the pictures are so mind-boggling. Uh -huh. I mean, even today, what they chose to x-ray, I mean, um, I think this is just extraordinary. I mean, to really see the, how the shoe is constructed, you know, to see the eyelets for the laces and the hooks and then even the little safety pin probably holding his pants pegged closed. Think about this idea that you can make photographs of invisible bones and, and this idea that you're surrounded by this electromagnetic radiation. I mean, what's so strange about thinking there are other invisible things 